I came to the UK when I was 21. It was a tough move. Um, I came from Melbourne to Gosford where there wasn't much around and you know, I was in England. It was, it was very dark at that time. And all I thought was come here to play rugby league and didn't think about anything else. There was a couple of big changes at the same period of time which really knocked me. One was having to leave Warrington Wolves, which I've been at 10, 11 years for. Unfortunately, at that time, that, that actually coincided with the death of my brother-in-law as well. I'd just I graduated from university, just got myself a, a job with IBM in Manchester and we had to uproot and, and move across the Pennines to Hull. Building up towards retirement was a huge transitional change for me. You know, I had a huge bearing on my life. You know, we played our last game of the season on a Sunday, and then the Tuesday I'm sat at home thinking, you know, is this it? Is this what's uh, what, what's in store for me? I kept my job, but it was a male-dominated office, so I didn't really have any any friends over there. Stephen was fine. He was embedded in a team again. He, he made friends quite easily. But I think people don't realise how hard it is for the partner. I didn't want to get out of bed in the morning. I was meant to go and join in a new club in Widnes for a new challenge, which I was actually really looking forward to, but I just couldn't do it. It's like you can see yourself from above and you're looking down at yourself and it's like it's not you. You're just looking down at someone else. You're like a monster. All the close people around you, you just push them away. I didn't ask for help. It was probably be a big, hard, tough rugby player and it took me to hit rock bottom, you know, to ask for help. I think Rugby League is very fortunate to have a charity like State of Mind who've come on board and you know helping players go through them and transitional periods, whether it's joining a new club, retirement or whatever. It's given people like myself and other people that I know a platform to be able to stand up and say, you know what, I'm struggling or I have been struggling or this is what I did when I was struggling. You know, it's certainly given people a lot of confidence and uh, peace of mind that they've got somewhere to go and talk to. It's a very, very clear message. Uh, the players get it. You know, we're just there to try and give an awareness to, to, to players to say that, look, you know, we fully understand the pressures that players are under. And this year's uh, uh, round of fixtures is about change. So it's not just about the players, it's about the people that's on the stands, in the terraces, you know, it's about the coaching staff, the referees. We are all one big team. We are there for one another. The support that fans give to the players, to somebody that's like like ourselves when in 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 crisis really in devastation the, the support that you get from them is is fantastic the emphasis of team to me is, is having the right people around you i see now as, as life being a team you know there's many members in and around your life that, that create that team it might be family members it might be partners girlfriends boyfriends and the stronger you are as an individual is great but the stronger you are as a unit is, is much, much better. You know, hindsight's a wonderful thing, but I think back in the day when I started to realise that things wasn't going the way I wanted them to, or my thinking wasn't quite right, and my feelings wasn't quite right, I should have spoke about it there and then. I found the more I spoke about these these problems with my friends, and uh, eventually, the easier they got. I can I can spot something now. I can I can see someone struggling. So I can I can just go up to them and say, you know, you're struggling. I think you think you need help or whatever, and push me in the right direction. So to have that support there that you know there is uh, is vital. Uh, and I don't think that goes to rugby league. I think this is a this is a social aspect right across different jobs and different cultures. So um, the, the more help we can get in terms of the mental health support, I think uh, the better the uh, society will be.